physical space. This is exactly what it sounds like. It is the space in which employees work, whether it's in person, whether it's virtual, whether it's at a coffee shop, whether it's a co-working facility, the spaces in which employees work play a 30% role in shaping the experience of your people. Now I know start, things are starting to open back up a little bit, which is great, and we're switching a lot of organizations to a hybrid model, but space still matters. And so one of the things that you can do to test this for your company is write down your values on a sheet of paper. They might be things like trust, transparency, collaboration, putting the customer first, doing the right thing, innovation, whatever your values are. If you were to write them down on a piece of paper and walk around your space, would you see these values come to life? Would you see trust? Would you see collaboration? Would you see innovation? If not, then these are just words on paper. They're not your true values. So how do you make these values come to life? Because I can promise you the values that you have, you're not, your company is not unique when it comes to having these values. I can promise you that many other organizations around the world, probably some of your competitors, have the exact same values that you guys have. So what makes it unique for you? It's how the values come to life, right? It's how they get manifested. So think about how you can bring your values to life. So physical space is 30% of the overall employee experience. And there was some interesting research that was done by MIT and some folks at Harvard, and they found that the physical space actually is like a, a, a symbol that represents what your organization stands for. A symbol that represents what your organization stands for. So if you think of like Batman, Spider-Man, Wonder Woman, whoever your favorite superhero is, all of those characters have a symbol that represents who they are and what they stand for. In the eyes of your employees, a lot of that symbolism comes from the space in which employees work. And even in a hybrid environment where you might not have employees in the office, you can still shape that space. You can help employees design spaces that make them more productive. You can help them figure out how to stay engaged during their time at home. You can help them figure out how to balance, you know, having kids and how to uh, balance a job. Like you can still play a role in helping them figure out how to use a lot, utilize their space to create a great experience for them, even if that space is not in the office in front of you um, with all of your peers and your employees. So again, this is the first environment. It is physical space. It's 30% of the overall employee experience. Being lonely, right? That's another one. I mean, that's part of physical space, being lonely. So you can help your employees figure out how do you uh, not get lonely in a world where you know, most of us have spent the last two years looking at a screen, uh, not being able to see our coworkers. So physical space, 30% of the overall employee experience.